Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a subject that can be confusing for people when they first get started with food photography, and that's props. Uh, how many do you need? What are the best props to get? Um, what styles of props do we need? And that's the subject of today's video. The, the top five most important props that you need to get started with food photography. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and here we talk about food photography. If that's something you're interested in, I'd urge you to subscribe and follow along for more videos. Today we're talking about props. Props can be something that is very uh, personal to you and, and how you want to you know, build your creative style and, and, and build your photos. Um, but there are, are, in my opinion, you know, five crucial props you need to get started with for great food photography. Uh, we're going to jump into those today. The first one is going to be a plate. So even though a plate seems like a very obvious thing to have for food photography, and, and why is it on this list? Uh, it's because when you start with food photography, there is a desire to you know start getting kind of exotic plates with exotic colors and exotic shapes. And sometimes those make your compositions much more harder to deal with. Um, my suggestion is always to get a plate that is neutral in color, whether that's white or a light brown or a light gray. Um, that you can use to start your food photography journey with. Um, if, if you're starting to get, you know, blue plates and green plates and, you know, heavy dark plates, those don't frame food very well. Um, even in restaurants, you'll see most restaurants will use, you know, whiter, lighter, neutral color plates because they know it makes their food look better. Um, you know, there's the odd exception for, for some of those restaurants, but the majority prefer a lighter, whiter, neutral color plate. So that's why I'm, I'm, I've got it on this list is because Having a plate is kind of brainless, but having a plate that is, you know, simple white and round and not square or you know, not rectangles or because those corners can sometimes, you know, uh, make the composition a little bit more difficult. Not that you can't do it, but when you get started, having something simple and round is the best way to go. So number two in this list of the five most important props for food photography are mason jars. Now mason jars come in a variety of shapes and sizes and they're great for all kinds of things. Uh, they can be the hero of the shot, um, and be the, the focal point, or, you know, they can be kind of a, a prop that's in the background, creating you know, some depth in your image and, you know, also being able to provide some color sometimes or just some specular highlights based on an empty glass, things like that. So uh, they're inexpensive to get. You can get them at, you know, pretty much any grocery store or any, and they're great because um, you can use them over and over again. And there's this, the amount of shapes and sizes they have will help you add some uh, interest to your photos. So number three on our list of the five most important props you can use for food photography is a baking rack. If, if you look at a lot of the, the food photography that is out there and a lot of, I'm sure, what you do and what you concentrate on, a lot of the products that we use are baked goods, and baked goods always want to come out of an oven. Fire a cooling rack for, you know, getting it cool, that way you don't steam up the bottom, you don't make it soggy, and it cools quicker. Not only are they great for cooling and baking, but you also want to make sure that you use that in your photo. They're a great way to add lines and textures and patterns and to elevate things a little bit. All around, they add kind of a, an industrial look to your image. And, and, Baking racks come in all different shapes and sizes, and they're really great at helping uh, uh, create compositions. So number four on our list of the five most important props you need to get started with food photography is a cutting board. You know, cutting boards add a, a texture uh, and, a, and a nice deep, rich color to your photos. Again, like a cooling rack, they help elevate things. They can, they can set things off. They can be hanging out in the background. Um, and they, again, come in a variety of shapes and sizes. You can find really inexpensive cutting boards and really expensive cutting boards, depending on kind of what you want to do. Some have texture like this one does. Uh, some are flat and smooth. You know, some of your older cutting boards are kind of beat up and have some texture and some, some patina to them. Uh, can make for really interesting uh, uh, props in your food photography. So number five on our list of the five most important props you need to get started with food photography is parchment paper. And parchment paper comes in all kinds of different shapes and sizes. And you get some color if you want to, you've got just some plain white. And the reason I love parchment paper so much is because it really lets you add texture to your photo. 
Um, you could take a piece of parchment paper and crumple it up and start laying food on top of it or placing it in a basket and having food in the basket. And it does a really, really good job of adding some interest and some texture and not just having, you know, just kind of a plain old flat, uh, uh, boring composition. All this channel at all for the last you know few months, you know, I've talked about texture and being very important to food photography. Um, um, parchment paper is inexpensive. You can find it anywhere. Chances are it's already already in your house. Um, maybe it is, maybe it's not. But if it isn't, you can get it pretty inexpensively. It's a great way to add some color sometimes, add some texture. And uh, I, I use it whenever I feel that my photo is kind of lacking something. The first thing I'll reach for is some parchment paper to see if I can kind of add something to that to help with the photo. So that's it for the five most important props you need to get started with food photography. I uh, hope you found this helpful and interesting. And if you did, I'd, pre I'd appreciate you hitting the like button. Um, subscribe for more if you're interested in food photography and want to see more videos coming out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.